Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 43617 419 531 JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. And find the Facebook link in the description below. This is Tuesday, May 10th. And I've got my Diamond Comics to get uh, taken care of here. Also, let you guys know this Saturday, the 14th, I am closing at 4:30. I'm going down to Cincinnati to see Danzig, Cradle of Filth, and some other bands. And um, but because of that, I'm going to open an hour early. Usually, open at noon. We'll open at 11, but I am closing at 4:30. So, and then with the stuff here that I'm getting, I've got some Godzilla books. I'm probably getting on Tuesday. Godzilla: The Formative Arts, 1954 to uh, 2016. Really cool hardcover for all Godzilla fans. So that's coming in on probably Thursday. So certainly do not wait. Do not hesitate because you'll miss out. I only have a couple of those things coming in. But I got some realtors. Here's a realtor from uh, Penguin Random House. Uh, Deadpool by Posein and Dugan. That is volume 1. This has Deadpool 1 through 14 and number 20. So we've got this back in stock. Let's move on to the next item. This box here, which you see this box, lots of packing, bubbles, and these are the only things in here. Uh, got the heavy metal drummer from Behemoth. This is issue three, I believe. This is cover A. Isn't this issue three? See, they don't have the issue number on the front here. What issue number is this? They don't have it on the front. Uh, we look on the inside, chapter four. Okay, this is issue four. So we've got that. We've got uh, Blind Alley. This is from Behemoth also. These are not traditional comic size books, as you can see from this here. So, and this is cover A as well. This is Blind Alley. This is cover B. We've got cover B of Heavy Metal Drummer, issue 4. We have, this is a Michael Turner Darth Maul. I can't remember why I ordered this. Oh, I think I, I think there might be maybe Mr. Jeff. I think maybe this is for him. You guys, let me know if this is for you. Because I don't remember ordering that. So, that was it. That was it in that box. I get to pay... Who knows what I paid in shipping for those items. I'm probably not going to make my money back on whatever the shipping cost was on those items. I'd like to give a shout out to Greg, who was in here earlier from Georgia. Spent some good money. We had a very good chat. Uh, very, very cool dude up here on business. And uh, so that's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Here we have this problem time and time and time again. Diamond, please, somebody, put your foot up somebody's ass, Diamond, at your warehouse. Please. I don't know how many times this happens. This happened more times than not. This is this is stupid. This is outrageous. You're gonna have I'm gonna have damaged comics. I'm gonna be reporting because of this diamond. Come on, guys. Again, you need me to come down there and show you guys how to package these books? Because I bet sure as shit. And, you said, sure as shit, these books are filled to the brim there. Spread it out. You know, weight distribution, people. Weight distribution. Come on, Diamond. You're smarter than that. You just, just just hand the keys of the car to the penguin then. Because you sure as hell don't want to hand them to Lunar. Because Lunar would drive it off the cliff. But we've got Betty Page, The Alien Agenda. We've got lots of uh, dynamite books. That's cover C of The Alien Agenda. Right there. Star Trek Discovery number three. Got my copies for my Star Trek fans, including Mr. Mr. Smith, 
who uh, he he wants to go by Mr. Smith now because he doesn't want to be he doesn't want his Star Trek fans to know that he's he's buying Discovery. Uh, Marvel, we saw our Marvels before. We got some of the Marvels from Diamond. We got Banner of War. That's Ron Lim's cover. Here we go. Star Trek Mirror Universe number six, cover A. Mr. Smith is going to be very happy with that, as will the other Star Trekians. We've got Grimm. This is from Boom Studios. This is cover A on that. Looking forward to checking this out. It looks like it might be a good story. Vampirilla Strikes, number one. This is the blank cover. Cover F. F. Jackie. Uh, Immortal Red Sonia. Uh, number two. This is a Joe Lindner variant. I know who is going to be happy with that. Lady Mechanica. This is the 1 in 10 variant on that. We got that for a, a good customer as well. And we've got some of these blank covers for Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer, the new uh, new series. Here we got Human Reigns, number 8. Somebody's getting uh, going to eat some human flesh there. Pull these other Death Dealers out before they're destroyed. Here we have, wow, I can swear issue 1 just came out. This is issue two, Past the Last Mountain. And that is cover A on that. Here's another variant. This is a variant uh, for Vampirola Strikes. Is that what it's for? Vampirola Strikes? This is Vampirola Strikes number one. After this is a, a Jim Lee uh, homage cover variant. I think I got just one of those in. And uh, got somebody that's already lined up for that. West of Sundown number two from Vault. Cover B. Tales from Har Harrow County number one. This is cover B. Here's Captain America symbol of truth number one. And this is Red Room. This must be. Yeah, this uh, I want to say is the must be maybe the one in the one in five variant. Here is Death Dealer number one. This is the cover B. And I don't know why they make Frank his a B cover. Frank should be the A cover, but we got that there. This is the D cover on Vampirilla Strikes number one. That is a D. We've got some triple. We got triple D's here, so no double D's. We got triple D's. You can't argue that. Here's Vampirilla Strikes. Number one. This is probably cover E. The uh, cosplay cover. Baby got back. We know where Vampirilla's been storing her extra blood. Robin Hood, Hearts of Darkness, cover B from Xenoscope. Transformers, The Last Bot Standing, issue one, cover B. Here's cover A. These are the cover A's of Tarot, uh, Tales from Harrow County, number one. Betty Page. Alien Agenda, cover D, as in, damn, Betty. Betty, Betty, Betty. Here are the foil covers on Grimm, number one. This would be the B cover on those. Again, I'm looking forward to reading that. Loose Lips Might Sink Ships. This is uh, the B cover. On oh, past the last mountain number two. It might be nice to put past the last mountain number two at the top here because I'd be like, I didn't order loose lips. Again, people don't know how to do uh, proper covers. Here's Immortal. Is this Immortal She Hulk? Yeah, this is Immortal She Hulk. 
Number two. That is a variant on that. John, uh, the the guy that uh, does his best, uh, J. Scott Campbell, John Rowley. Spawn number three thirty nine. This is the blank cover. McFarland's doing some blank covers on these. Sweet paprika. We saw some sweet paprikas last week, uh, and we've got the rest of our sweet paprikas. This is cover B. She wants a, she wants some eggplant. Plant them eggs. This is this is the Sumerian Hour of the Dragon number three. This is the one in ten variant. Again, the Lensler guy, Mr. Joe, you're going to be very, very, very happy. Okay, Vampirola Strikes. This is there's another incentive variant. Here we got some regular cover, so some guys are going to be happy to get this cover here. Here is Mighty Morphin number 19. This is a variant. I know Mike's going to be, Michael's going to be very happy. He's going to be very happy also that Alexa Bliss is back. Here is the incentive on Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer. Belit and Valeria. Swords versus Sorcery. This is from Ablaze. This is cover D. This is the, I believe the Alex Ross uh, homage cover from uh, with uh, uh, Joker and Harley Quinn. Again, I think I know somebody that might be happy with that. Mighty Morphin number nineteen. That is the regular cover. Here are some more variants. Now, this is another variant on. Vampirella Strikes, number one. This is the Michael Turner uh, variant on that. Here is Immortal uh, Red Sonia, number two. Those are some more variants. If you guys are taking a shot every time you uh, saw these variants, you'd be probably about six sheets to the wind right now. Here's cover A on the Sumerian Hour of the Dragon, number three. Devil's Highway from uh, Devil's Highway Volume Two uh, from AW AWA Upshot. That is the A cover. Cover A of Immortal Red Sonia Number Two. A pretty damn nice cover. Bunny Mask Number One. The Hollow Inside. New Bunny Mask series. There is the Madripoor number one uh, variant cover. Here is Mighty Morphin, another variant on number 19. Sumerian Hour of the Dragon number three, cover B. Archie meets Riverdale number one. And that is cover B on that. Devil's Highway. Uh, this would be the B cover on Devil's Highway, volume two, number one. So we got the Devil's Highway right there. So we have the A and the B cover. So we're ready to head on down that highway with the Judas Priest. Betty Page. This is a Variant cover on issue three of the Alien Agenda. And you guys need to let me know if you're interested. Sweet Paprika. This is cover C. She's got uh, got a little bit of wings growing on her back there. She might be getting good. X Men Eleven Spawn Three Twenty Nine Cover A. Spawns. 
Here we've got the Joe Lindsner cover on Immortal Red Sonia number two. This is cover C. Man, Lindsner just gets better and better and better and better and better and better and better. It's better. Buddy Mask. The hollow inside. This is the mask cover on issue one. Belit and Valeria. Swords versus Sorcery. This is the blank cover. Immortal Red Sonia. This is cover E, the cosplay cover. Becky Lynch doesn't look too bad. Walking Dead Deluxe, number 38. This is the uh, David Finch cover. Archie meets Riverdale, number one. This is issue uh, cover B, the team up. So, so the classic Archie meets the, uh, um, I don't know what you would call the TV Archie. I guess we'll, we'll call him that. Here's a variant, another variant on Immortal Red Sonia number two. She's got her hot pants on. She's ready to party in the city. These are some cover Bs on that Immortal Red Sonia number two. Hot pants and getting ready to go to uh, Studio 54. Shang Chai number 12. Another cover on Band of War number one. Cover B on Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number one. Eight Billion Genies. This is cover D. This is one of eight. Not of eight billion, though. Thankfully, it's not that. Scorched, number five. This is a McFarlane cover, the B cover. He's doing his Jim Lee uh, uh, homage cover. The next cover will be the Magneto cover on that. I don't think people like Scorched as much as I thought they would. Somebody that's a big uh, big fan of uh, Gunslinger Spawn doesn't like Scorched. I think that's a crime. That's a crime. Cover B of Belit and Valeria, uh, number one. Uh, Noct Noctera, number 10. Cover A. I know there's a couple of you guys are getting that. They'll be here for you. Got a couple more of those Nocteras. Here is the cover D on that Immortal Red Sonia number two. That's the regular cover that the variant was kind of based upon. Hour of the Dragon, issue three, cover C. Red Sonia, number eight. We had some reorders because we had some damaged copies. Those are here now. This, um, which Dracula book is this? This is Draculina. Draculina, number three. We got another one of these variants back in stock, so... So suck it up, buttercup. As uh, my friend Jay would say, looks like she's doing some uh, sucking of it up. A lot of books this week. A lot of variant covers, I should say. Assassin's Creed Valhalla number three. I've got copies set aside for Michael and Josh. Red Room. This is, I think this might be the 1 in 10 variant. Death Dealer. These are the cover A's on that. I think this is a Simon Bisley cover. Human Reigns, number 8. That is the A cover. That is the incentive cover on Belit and Valeria. 
the kill lock number three from IDW. Another variant on Immortal Red Sonia number two. Crossover. It's been a long time since we've seen an issue of crossover, hasn't it? This is issue number number 13. And that is cover A of Crossover. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero. Saturday Morning Adventures, number three, cover A. Here is Sumerian Hour of the Dragon, number three. This is cover D. This is the Secret Wars, I think Secret Wars 10? No, Secret Wars 11 uh, homage cover, I do believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comments there below. Issue 13 crossover. This is cover B. Betty Betty Page, Alien Agenda, number three. This is a variant, a Lindsner variant. Again, Mr. Joe is going to be a happy Lindsner fan. It's very cold on this cover. And here is a... Uh, promo that was sent out we'll see i'll check out knights of the fifth uh, fifth dimension see if it's something i want to order there's another banner of war part one red room number three more red room threes more spawn 329s here is cover C of Belit and Valeria, number one. Betty Page, Alien Agenda, cover E on issue three. Here is cover, these are uh, variant covers for Immortal Red Sonia with John Rowley. There we go, we've got those for the people that that want those. And here is the cover A's on Belit and Valeria number one. A very uh, incentive cover on Vampirola Strikes by Michael Turner. Here is the Joe Lindsner cover A on Betty Page Alien Agenda number three. Walking Dead Deluxe, this is cover C on Walking Dead Deluxe, number 38. What If Miles Morales Became the Hulk, number 3. Power Rangers 92, this is their legacy number for issue 19. This is the David Mack cover on North Mythology, number 4. The A cover on Banner of War number one. This is this is cover D of Death Dealer. And this this Betty cover here, I'll have to just show you. We can show you that much of that Betty cover there, because otherwise I can't can't show it. Oh, I can show you that too. G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, number 292. Mr. Stevens going to be a happy man. We had gotten in uh, some uh, G.I. Joes and sold out of them. Here's another uh, Lesnar cover on Immortal Red Sonia, number two, another variant. A couple of Lesnar variants. Here's another variant on Betty Page, Alien Agenda, number three. Here is the A cover on Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, number one. I'm going to pause. Okay, we've got the next box here. Let's see what's in here. Looks like some of those Godzillas actually did come in. I didn't think they were coming in until Thursday. The Godzilla History of Formative Arts, 1954 to 2016. These run $100. I've got a couple of these available. that there's going to be a new 
Umbrella Academy stuff to come out. So we got some promo posters. Okay, sorry about that. The uh, battery went dead on me. Uh, there was a couple that came in with some older comics. I was pretty hopeful they would be some great comics. They would have been if their condition would have been oh so much better. Really, Green Lanterns and Adam and uh, Unexpected and Nick Fury and Challengers, the Spectre. But unfortunately, most of those books were in poor, fair to good condition. Uh, pretty sad. Uh, some coverless comics, some Spider, Amazing Spider Mans that were coverless, and missing pages, and so that's always always disappointing. But um, let's go back. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if this was seen. The G fan came out this week. I don't know if you saw this or not. Godzilla History of Formative Arts, 1954 to 2016. Like I said I only have just a couple of these available. I want one of these myself. I will probably earmark one for myself. But let's finish this box off because it's after seven o'clock so I can get this video uploaded and I got comics to move around. I would rather not be here until nine or well nine. I mean I'm gonna be here until past nine until eleven, twelve or one in the morning. Uh this is cover A of eight billion genies number one here we've got Planet Comics number five. This is from Antarctic Press. I know of somebody that's probably really going to want that copy. I'm setting both copies aside for people I think will, customers are probably going to, will, will want these. Uh, West of Sundown number two, cover A. Time Before Time number 12. Cover A. This is cover B of The Walking Dead Deluxe number 38. This is Noctura. Cover C of issue 10. Just going to find our cover B's. Sweet Paprika. This is the adult cover that was spoken for. Time Before Time, this is cover B of issue 12. Farm Hand, number 17 from Image. 8 Billion Genies, number 1, cover B. Again, be a hell of a lot better to sell this book if you put your logo at the top, people. But what the hell do I know? I've only been doing this for almost 37 years, right? I only know how to sell comics. I'm not some fancy publisher who thinks uh, that Flash helps sell them comics. Um, no Holds to be Barred, number six. It's like that there. You got the logo at the top. Use a different color. So that logo pops out. You want to sell this book, don't you? You want to sell comics, don't you? I don't think they do. Just like this here, Dark Beach. Here you go. What's this book? Oh, it's Acme Face. No, Dark Beach, number, number, oh, number two. That's cover A. Give me a call, you companies. I'll give you some advice. I hope you sell more comics. I only charge. I only. I will only charge you a small fee. Vampirilla Strikes number one. That is cover B again. Pull this logo down. Put it. Put it right here. Dynamite. Cover C of eight billion genies number one. There has to be more of these someplace. Has to be. Lady Mechanica number four. Cover. B, again, logo's at the bottom. Put it at the top there. Can't stress that enough. Gold Digger, Gold Digger number 288. I pretty much believe every issue of Gold Digger 
logos at the, at the top. You know why? Because Fred Perry's a smarter guy than Joe Benice. He's smarter than Image. Smarter than anyone at Image. He's smarter than anyone at Dynamite. Another cover A of 8 billion genies. Number one, we do have another copy, comic, copy of Planet number five. Here is the Joe Jusco Vaporola Bloodlust reprint, facility edition. James Robinson, Joe Jusco. Here's another 8 billion genies, number three. I hope they don't have 8 billion copies running around. The Joneses, number two of five from AWA Upshot. There you go, Joe. You've got Lady Mechanic at the top there. There you go. You use your noodle. See? Is at the bottom there. It's like you're afraid to put your name at the top there, dude. Grim Fairy Tales. This is the cover A that should have been out last week for when the May the 4th be with you. Princess Leia. Hot Princess Leia there. Cover A of Grim Fairy Tales. The uh, cosplay special. Out this week. It would have been nice if it would have been out last week. But better late than never. Robin Hood, Hearts of Darkness. This is cover A of Robin Hood, Hearts of Darkness. Grim, this is probably cover C. This is cover C. Again, absolutely no reason for this to be at the bottom. Absolutely none, none whatsoever for it to be at the bottom. You failed, boom, you failed. see here's more of those cover B's of Lady Mechanica's here's another cover on Banner of War Marvel fails all time all all the time too G.I. Joe Saturday Morning Adventures issue 3 cover B Norse Mythology number 4 cover A covered by P. Craig Russell Really hot cover on Vampirilla Strikes number three. I think this was based on uh, the photo cover with Sasha Knopf. Sasha, I miss Sasha so much. I miss her. She was fun to be around. Here's a variant, another variant on Vampirilla Strikes 3. Yeah, if you don't know who Sasha is, look her up online. Google Sasha Knopf, Vampirilla. She was the best Vampirilla they ever had. But I'm biased. This is cover B of Noctura, number 10. Scorched. This is cover A on Scorched, number 5, from Image. Guilt, number 2 from Ahoy. Cover A. Betty Page, this is cover B of the Alien Agenda. Come on, Dynamite, you got Betty Page at the top there, put that right there. You don't need to have it there, you can have it run across the Alien Agenda, right there. You could do that. It's not that hard. New Jenny Zero, number volume two, Homeland Insecurities. Got the new issue of Discover Latveria. They didn't put the actual title of the book on the front. I'm not going to waste my time telling you what it is. Vampirilla Strikes, cover A. Right there. There you go. You got the got the logo at the top. And that there, 
pretty sure that's based on the Sasha Knopf uh, photo also. Man, she is so hot. Cover D, The Walking Dead Deluxe number 38. Betty Page. There is a variant cover on Alien Agenda number 3. Sonic the Hedgehog, The Imposter's Syndrome, cover A of issue 4. We've got cover C of Robin Hood, Hearts of Darkness. Here is another Lindsner incentive variant on Betty Page, The Alien Agenda. The Ocean Would Take Us, number two. Here's some more variants on Vampirola Strikes number one. Blank covers on Scorch number five. Seven Secrets number 17. Sweet Paprika number nine. Cover D. Again, absolutely no reason why this is at the bottom. Another variant on Vampirilla Strikes number one. What they call those their uh, their neon covers, I think. Transformers Last Spot Standing number one. Cover A. Here's another uh, immortal uh, Red Sonia number two. I love those those neon covers. Oh, here's another copy of Grim number three that's sort of lost its way, probably on its way to his grandmother's house. And looks like finally Sonic Hedgehog Imposter Syndrome number four cover B. If you like these videos as always be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. Like, comment, and share and don't forget to thank your comics retailer tomorrow when you get your funny books for all the hard work he or she does. Thank you. Have a good evening.